All right, everybody. Hopefully you're with me so far with my little kilt card that we're making. So the, the card itself is fairly basic. But what we're going to try to do is fold the paper to get this little bit of a kilt flare. And we also want to be able to have just enough paper to tuck underneath onto the card so that we don't see so we don't see the back side of the DSP. Um, I actually did a pretty good job. I'm estimating from the front, but you see what you kind of have a little bit of the flare here. So I'm going to show you how I folded this paper to get this effect. But because it's harder to see on the DSP and that piece is a little bit smaller, I'm going to try it with just a piece of white cardstock. And I've made similar... I've got it zoomed in really far. So I'm having a hard time with the camera. But So this is the same scoring you did on the other one, right? You did the same number of scores. Now if you just fold it like this, it just lines up. So we don't want that. What we're going to do is we're just going to, for lack of a better term, we're just going to cockeye all the folds as we go. Now this first fold that you're doing is actually going to fold under. And this is the one that I showed you so that on the back side of the card you see the, the same DSP that's on the front. Okay, so that one's going to go. So fold that one under and lay it on the table. Now, the reason we did these, these half inch score lines is to give you that sick, nice, you need a nice crisp edge on one of them. The middle parts here, we're gonna mess with, but this one is what you wanna see and it gives you some, somewhere to start. So we're gonna take this first mountain peak and just, I have this hand and I'm pushing, this is a little harder because it's cardstock, it's much easier with the paper. But as I fold, I'm just kind of pushing in on, on the inside fold here because what I want to do is I want to try to get this point halfway between in this fold right so because this is just a piece of paper I'm going to do this here's one score line and there's the other one and I want to I want to try to line up right here okay so in the middle of this floor I'm going to try to take this point and put it down like I said much easier with DSP on that one now so I've got that there and so now as I fold I'm just going to kind of push with my fingers to get this to come and, and fold down the halfway mark. So now I've got like this. So now instead of being folded the way it was, it's kind of a skew. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. I'm going to take this point on this mountain and I'm going to go halfway and I'm just kind of pushing with my fingers and then I'm just kind of pushing this card out. I don't want if if I if you fold it straight down again, you're just you're gonna end up with the same problem, right? They're all gonna line up. So I'm just taking the middle point and I'm just kind of pushing it off to the side. So if you look at the top end, I get it on camera. If you look at the top end, you'll see it's fairly regular, right? It's it's halfway through I put the point, halfway through I put the point. But if you look at this end, you'll now see that I've sort of I've reworked. So this is the original fold and I've pushed it off to the side. There's the original fold I've pushed off. But what it gives you is the effect of the little bit of a flare out. So what that does is it's going to make it so at the top I have the waistband and then at the bottom it's going to flare out a bit. Right? Now in the picture I showed you, and I forgot to do it on this step, um, in the picture I showed you I had actually, and it makes it a little bit easier, you can do it without obviously because I just did but um, I had actually notched out kind of like a bit of a loop like this that will make it there gives you a little bit less um, paper in there so there's a little bit less bulk but you can do it this way because what we're going to do is when we line it up we're not going to worry about the top we're going to worry about the bottom so this piece of this is just a mocked up thing here so this piece here I had put the same tear and tape on it and when you go to lay it down you want to start with this corner right because you want to start making sure that you have a little bit of a flare overhanging and you want to secure it here because we're going to trim the top and then we're going to cover it with a belt so this is the critical part we're starting with so I didn't do both sides of I didn't do both sides of the uh, the pleat you, what I did on the one side you basically just do the same thing on the other side so I will give you the, uh, and you'll see it will come together. And like I said, the DSP is a lot more pliable than cardstock. So once you get going, oops, I made a hole there earlier. Once you get going with the fold, you will, um, 
you'll see that it's a lot easier to push over. And if you if you get it a little off the first time and you want to adjust it, the beauty is you don't see it, right? Unless somebody was to take the end of the card and look like this and look for old fold lines, they're not going to see it. And I would like to think they're more impressed with whatever's on the inside than that. Okay, so we've made our we've made our our folds and the this this fold is is the one that's the most straight up and down. This is the one that's most flared off. So when you go to put it on the cardstock, keep this like this is kind of lined up with your cardstock. So you'll see here. Let me go do it upside down and see if it works. You'll see you're trying to do this, right, with your cardstock. Oops. That's what you're trying to do when you put it on. So we want to we want to flare out the cardstock on the bottom like that, but we want it to go, oops, this is much easier, not on camera, there we go. So we want to put it lined up here, and if you have to trim the bottom, it's not a big deal, and you want to go to here in the corner. So when you do that, and then you push it down, and like I said, let's imagine, I don't know if I can, no, I can't, well, let's, just make, let's just make a pretend one, we'll just estimate, there we go, close enough. So when you do that, and then, so you've got your folds, and like I said, pretend you have the same set here. When you do that, if you start with this corner, and then as you push this down, you're going to find that you have enough um, adhesive on here that it's going to hold it all together. So this one's going to kind of, the middle the middle panel, you notice, is kind of straight up and down, right? Because this one, at the time you're done, is fairly straight. It's just the two side ones are sort of flared out, and then the middle ones are... Eh. And most, most kilts are one big piece of fabric that is hand rolled, so it's not like the kilts are going to be exactly. I would think a good Scotsman has no problem getting it, you know, fairly accurate, but nobody's measuring for that. You get the gist. Okay, so when you push this down, it looks like you've got this other folded side, which that's a close guess. <laughs> so this is what you can see. Now, like I said, if you need to, I was a little, when I did this one, I didn't have to trim the bottom at all when I was using the DSP. I didn't have to trim the bottom at all. I also just made up these measurements with the black and white just to try to make it easier to see. So they really had no basis on, on any kind of math. Um, but if you have to, like I said, it's very easy just to trim it out. And then by design, the paper is long enough that it is going to hang over the top. Because I want to make sure that you can get the bottom down all the way to the bottom. If you want this thing to stand up, you can get it flat on the bottom. Right? So we're going to start there. And then once you get this piece done, then same thing, you're just going to trim it off. And again, cardstock, a little bit thicker, so those folds are a little thick, but you can still get through them with your snips. So you trim off the top to make it nice and even. Now on, on your other one, this would actually be a folded over piece. So once it's trimmed off nice and even, then uh, I didn't actually, I didn't actually prep a piece, but let's pretend I did. Then you're going to have your like half inch strip of black and you're just going to put it like this over the top and I put mine on with two pieces of tear and tape so one piece of tear and tape fills about two thirds of this so I put one piece on peel the back off put the other piece on so it's like the full width of this and then I just squish it over top and it will hold on top of all the folds and bury all your secrets for you so if you look at it like this you can see all the folds but you don't really you don't see it from like how you look at it and the same is looking at the bottom you don't see the back side of the paper and it just takes a bit of maneuvering and manhandling so that is how the folds go uh, the rest of the pictures like I said are pretty easy they're just some layers and some cuts so good luck with your uh, your kilt making it is a it is an art form and practice makes perfect um, if you if you only have one piece of your best DSP and the one that you absolutely need to make this kilt out of to give to somebody do not practice on that one practice on a piece of DSP you don't like get the get the folds down and it, like I said this doesn't show really well in the pictures but in person you see just perfectly cute little folds uh, mine are different I can tell you the size of these two right now are different uh, one is about half an inch and one is probably closer to three quarters of an inch but the it, it totally reads kilt is totally cute and nobody's gonna care so use a spare piece, practice a little bit, and then pop your kilt together. And once you make one of them, you're going to want to make a whole bunch of them because they're adorable. All right. Thanks, everyone. Happy crafting.